this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to get your BlackBerry's MEP code without a cable. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to enter into the phone Alt Caps H. Now when you enter Alt Cap H, it's going to bring you to a menu. And on this menu, you can see there's a couple pieces of information that we need. We're going to need your, say, app version, your PIN number, and your uptime. So gather all three, these three pieces of information because we will need them for the next step. And you can go through this whole thing on um, globalunlock.com's blog. I'll include a link as well uh, for you. So now once you've actually gotten all three of those pieces of information, we can move on to the next step. So go over to the bl uh, blog right now, and you'll see exactly how to get your MEP code in the next step. All right, now that you have those three pieces of information, in step two, we need to come over to globalunlock.com's blog here. And the URL is right here. I'll include it in the description section, but just in case you're watching this somewhere else, uh, the URL is right here. So this is a written version of what I'm explaining in this video. So step one, you've got, done this already, where you've gone to the Help Me menu by putting an Alt Cap H. If you have a Perl, uh, there's a little bit of difference on it, and if you have a storm, there's also a difference just for the fact that it's not a full keyboard and it's a touch screen. So we've gone through step one. We now know those three pieces of information. We need to move to step two. In step two, our goal here is we're going to put in those three pieces of information and we're going to get a key. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click here to get the BlackBerry uh, eScreen key gen. And once you've got that, what I need you to do now is enter those three pieces of information. So I'm just using the example version here, but you need to use the version that's from your phone. Now one thing I want to tell you about uptime as I'm going here is, let's say for example that this does not work, or that when you're doing the next step you're not able to get into it, uh, uptime keeps on changing, right? So you need to make sure that's correct. So if you do it today and you come back like tomorrow or a week later, then it may not be accurate. So just make sure that that is correct. So hit get my key. Oh, and see, what actually happened here was I forgot the bracket here. And this is important as well, because I've done this as well, where I would just do this, and it won't work. You need to have the brackets as well. So hit Get My Key, and now you have the key. So in step three, I'm going to show you this in the video, but you're going to enter that into the phone, uh, into the Help Me menu, and you're now going to get into an engineering screen content. And uh, let's go over to the actual uh, video again, and I'll show you the phone shooting of it. All right, so enter the key into your phone, and once you've entered that, you're going to get into the engineering screen content. And when you're in the engineering screen content, what you need to do is you need to scroll down and click on OS engineering screen. Now, if you don't find the content in here, sometimes it's in here, sometimes you have to go to device info. And in this case, we're going to go down to device info, and that will be taken to a long list of content, and you're going to have to find your MEP code. Now, you can see this on the blog as well. So the MEP code here is exactly what we need. Um, and one thing I'll mention is if you're not able to get into the engineering screen, it could be because your uptime has changed. So just make sure that that is correct as well. So once you have your information, go over to the blog and place your order. Thank you very much. Now you've completed step four, you've come over to the blog to place your order. So let me just uh, tell you a couple things here as well before we go on to place the order. One is there is a way to do this with the cable. Uh, so if for some reason you're not able to get it work, you can follow the instructions here as well. Uh, and it works for Mac as well. So there's a software that you can download and a couple of troubleshootings on that as well. Uh, just in case. Uh, the other thing is that um, we have seven days a week customer support and there's live help. So you can actually talk to someone live online if you're having issues with this as well. Um, if they're online, you can actually ask them to get your code faster. Usually, it sometimes takes up to an hour to go turnaround time, but if you talk to live help, they can often get it faster to you as well and get your phone unlocked uh, a lot faster as well. Okay, so now that you've actually gotten that, uh, you can place your order by doing this. Go, sorry, let me just rephrase that. You can click on this link right here in step five. Go here, choose your model. So let's say, for example, I'm going to say I have a 9700 Bold 2. I choose the Bold 2. I'll go in here and I'll place it. And um, let's say mine is on Vodafone Portugal. 
And now what you're going to do is you're going to enter your name, your email address, and your IMEI number here. There isn't a place for your MEP code, but what you're going to do is once you've placed the order, email us the MEP code right away, or we'll ask you for the MEP code right away. Uh, because what, what happens is this. With this information here, there is about a 90% or 95% accuracy rate. With the MEP code, it's almost 100%. We've had very few. I can probably count less than my hand out of the thousands or tens of thousands that we've done that have actually had an issue on it and those could be for various reasons as well it happens um, so uh, that is what you do when you place your MEP code in in here uh, so place your order uh, with with us and uh, you'll soon have your BlackBerry unlocked 